Hey what's up guys and welcome to step 2 where the lantern will now be flying around. You need to cook a frag and um, cook it successfully so it blows up by the lantern it will fall down. Good! Now you must secure the lantern to ensure that it is not used to advance the top and splats. The lantern is a vessel for this. The energy contained within all matter. You must find a method to manipulate the power of the undead. Their energy may provide vital fuel for the lantern. Ah! Mm -hmm. Lest you face corruption from the Elm energy, you may need help from a soul already bound to this realm. Right, so that was Dr. Max's speaking, and basically, yes, you need to throw a frag grenade at the lantern, and it needs to fall down, you want to go and obtain it by pressing and holding X on it. So what you need now is to actually power the lantern. And to do this, you need to get Leroy Huckleberry, whatever his name is, you need to get our big friend here to actually help you power it. So he needs to get the kills, and whoever has picked up the lantern needs to give him some candy, which is found in the sweet shop, here we go. Um, give him some candy, and he will actually then um, kill uh, all the zombies by kicking them and hitting them and barging them out of the way. And once you've um, once you've um, got enough kills, it should make a dinging noise each time, and about uh, ten times in total, it should um, actually then you'll be able to um, see you'll be able, you'll have done step two, and you'll be able to see a faint outline on the roof of the gunsmith for step three of the Easter egg. So what I'm doing now is I'm giving him the candy, and um, he's gonna run round getting all of the kills. And uh, Dr. Maxis, you know, then says how it's working and, you know, the power of the lantern, etc. Um, and, you know, you just, you want to stick close with him, because otherwise it won't work. You need to stick close to him when he's getting the kills, to charge up the lantern that, you, you, that you're holding, so that, you know, it powers it up and you're close enough to it. Um, then we will move on to step three. But so yeah, step two is really simple actually. You just need to obtain the lantern and then get a load of kills with him by giving him a candy and staying close to him when he gets those kills. And then you'll um, easily be able to move on to step three. So um, yeah, like I said, step two, nice and easy, nice and quick as well. Um, and here we have now got all the kills and he has uh, kind of like used up his time and if you run over here and look on the roof of the gunsmith you actually know how you've done it um, so basically there will be an outline of the lantern and um, which you have to actually then go and add onto the roof you press and hold X on it so I'll quickly show you that now and it will you know say additional parts required if you don't have it etc so um, and then we will explore what you want to do in step three good luck if you're trying to figure it out yourself but um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps um, thank you very much for watching comment rate and subscribe <laughs>